Hey y'all, I'm Brett Evans with MotorOne.com and today I'm getting an in-person first look at the next generation 2021 Mercedes-Benz S-Class, also known as the future of every mainstream car on the market today. The 2021 S-Class is the result of several years of research from Mercedes-Benz and we've gotten a few months of teasers and several years of camouflage spy vehicles under our belt, but this is our first chance getting a look at it in the metal without any camo whatsoever. And we think it looks pretty good. The US will get the new S-Class in the first half of next year in two different grades, S500 and S580. This particular model is an S580, which means it has a four liter twin turbocharged V8 with Mercedes-Benz's EQ Boost mild hybrid technology. And for 2021, all S-Classes in the United States will have 4MATIC all-wheel drive. For more on the 2021 S-Class, as well as a bunch of other new vehicles, be sure to hit subscribe so you can keep updated. But for now, let's take a closer look. So first, let's talk about the exterior. Mercedes-Benz re-proportioned the front grille, but they didn't make it as massive as you might see in some of the competitors from Audi and BMW. And they gave it this fuselage type uh, flow that kind of melts the grille into the rest of the body. That leads very seamlessly into these much more angular headlights that have three individual LED elements as opposed to the E-Classes too. This is a way of setting the S-Class apart from other vehicles in the Mercedes-Benz range. And there's tons of details. The closer you get, you get absolutely lots of different sparkle and flash. The LEDs in, inside the headlights themselves are really beautiful. It really is a pretty impressive machine. Leading away from the headlights, you get into this really lovely catwalk that spans the entire length of the vehicle. And unlike other shoulder lines, this doesn't necessarily form down low. It doesn't emphasize strength and width. In fact, it was designed to emphasize height to make the car look sleeker while also accounting for the higher roof line. And then as you move around to the back, this is a really polarizing feature that I'm not positive how I feel about it. These taillights, they said, were designed to be deliberately disharmonious. They didn't want this thing to be too cohesive and too pretty. They wanted it to kind of have this bold statement made. It reminds me a little bit of the first generation CLS, um, and, and in that wise, I do kind of like it, but it is pretty polarizing. Again, the closer you get, the more they come alive. There's three rows of LED details in here that really kind of sparkle a little bit. And when you play with the key, they come to life even more. Speaking of that key, it's a new design for Mercedes-Benz. Kind of pretty, kind of special, feels nice in your hand, and it's made from good materials, which is always a plus. Other traffic will spend a lot of time looking at those taillights, particularly for customers who opt for the S580. That twin-turbo 4-liter V8 produces 496 horsepower and 516 pound-feet, up 33 ponies over the outgoing S560. Even the S500 gets some go-juice, thanks to a turbocharged 3-liter inline-6. Producing 429 horsepower and 384 pound-feet, this is the same buttery smooth power plant found in the AMG GT53 four-door coupe. And like the S580 V8, it's optimized with EQ Boost mild hybrid technology. Both engines feature a smooth shifting nine-speed automatic. Two different rear axle steering systems are available. One is an optional add-on to the AMG line package, and it offers up to 4.5 degrees of rear angle for performance driving and freeway stability. Ordering the top spec S-Class executive line makes way for an optional 10 degree rear steering system, which improves maneuverability at low speeds and tightens the turning circle to just 36 feet. That's about the same as Mercedes's entry-level A-Class for comparison. Like most S-Class generations before it, the so-called W223 brings new levels of safety to the automotive world. For example, one of the world's first rear passenger frontal airbags is optional, mounted to the back of the front seats. Its tubular construction gently cushions rear seat passengers and prevents head and neck injuries in frontal crashes. Another safety advancement is pre-safe impulse side, which uses a modernized e-active body control to lift the S-Class up to three inches right before an impending collision, helping the car's underfloor structure absorb more of the impact and reducing the risk of injuries. As you can see, not only is the exterior all new, but the interior has been completely redesigned as well. The 2021 S-Class is less like a cockpit and a little bit more like an Italian riverboat. You can definitely see that in this massive fascia panel right here. And you'll see it more when you order things like the piano black lacquer flowing lines trim, which will actually come with vertical striations as opposed to the existing S-Class's horizontal striations. There's also this all new uh, center touchscreen display that replaces this 
twin touchscreen display that you get on the current S-Class, and it's surprisingly easy to use. So as you can see, this new display runs the an optimized version of MBUX, which you should see trickle down into other Mercedes-Benz vehicles. There's kind of a lot of neat surprise and delight features, like ambient lighting that changes when you alter the, the uh, temperature settings for the driver and passenger. And as you might expect, Energizing Comfort makes an appearance here as well. And what's more, it's activated by voice control. Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Turn on Vitality. I'm starting the Vitality program. So this program includes massage functions, ambient lighting, uh, some audio that you can probably hear, and it really kind of just helps lift your spirits if you're on a long trip. Um, you can also use natural speech like Mercedes, I'm feeling tired, and she'll recommend a rest stop, but turn on Vitality for you while you're on the way. In addition to kind of trying to bring all these features onto the touchscreen, they've also endeavored a lot to make them very user-friendly. For example, if you want to change the equalizer, um, it's pretty easy to do using personal sound profile, and that will come standard on every S-Class. This allows you to set up your ideal sound. So this is your personal comfort volume. You can kind of tell the car how loud you like your music. This shows your personal comfort volume for high tones. This allows you to balance them out if you want more high tones or low tones. And then this allows you to kind of set your minimum volume settings and how you want your low and high audio balance. Once you're done with that, it comes up with a personal sound profile designed just for you. So as on other Mercedes's, this car also comes with augmented reality navigation. However, unlike other vehicles within the brand stable, it doesn't show up on the navigation screen like you might expect. Instead, it's very naturally in the head-up display. So if you're driving down the road with your head-up display activated and you've got a right turn coming up in 500 feet or something like that, it will actually superimpose an arrow over that right turn. And as you approach it, the head-up display will simulate that arrow getting closer and closer so you know exactly where you need to go. I think it'll be really helpful, particularly for city situations where you have to make complex, you know, right, then left, then right, or roundabouts or things like that. And it'll also help you prevent you from blasting past your exit on the freeway. The attention to detail in here is incredible. There are so many floating features and panels. For example, the center touchscreen display, um, the overhead console, and then things on the door panels like the window switches and the seat switches, they all float above the panel itself, kind of providing this really tranquil, serene mentality, and I really, really love it. I didn't really like this car in pictures, but in person, it looks incredible inside. Absolutely love it. Um, there's also a bunch of other features that I can show you. You can see the uh, center vents. They took great, they went to great lengths to make sure that these kind of always looked nice and neat, even if the center vents were, were kind of skewed. And there's a really nice detente when you get to the center of like the vents travel, which helps you, you know, if you're kind of a type A person like I sometimes can be, it gives you this really nice cohesive look in the entire interior. So the rear seat of the S-Class really is the place to be, particularly when it's optioned like this executive package vehicle. One little caveat though, the US market will not get this unique two plus two seating arrangement. And that's because Mercedes says urban customers in the United States like to be able to slide across, across the rear seats. For example, if I'm sitting here and we pull up and our destination is on the other side of the road, I either have to get out and walk through traffic or climb over the console. So it's kind of a market specific thing. Um, I understand why they did it, but I do still wish that we got this really, really fancy executive class seating package back here. But on US cars with the executive package, you do still get this center tablet that's removable. You can access the internet. You can use MBUX through it. You also get these hard mounted MBUX screens, 11.6 inches diagonal, and they allow you to do things like, you know, I can navigate from here. I can pull up a restaurant that I want to go to and send it to the front, the front seat system. So it really is kind of a pretty clever way of involving all the passengers in the in-cabin technology. Another interesting feature, 
this uh, ambient lighting that you see on the door. You know, obviously the color is reconfigurable depending on how you want it, but regardless, if you come to a stop and the driver puts the car in park and I go to open the door and there's a car approaching from the behind, this ambient lighting will actually glow, glow red and kind of like alert me that there might be someone approaching. That feature also extends to the forward ambient lighting, which will glow red if there's a car in your blind spot or if you're approaching a stationary object and you need, and you need to react. It's just one way that Mercedes-Benz really kind of involved all the customers in the technology and made the technology both beautiful and functional. The S-Class is a hugely important vehicle for Mercedes-Benz. Although it doesn't sell in the same numbers as the smaller C and E-Class sedans, much less the company's popular SUVs and crossovers, the S-Class has one of the highest loyalty ratings among Mercedes-Benz vehicles. 70% of owners of the S-Class return to buy another Mercedes. Not only that, it also represents a flagship in the truest sense of the word proudly steaming ahead into the future, wearing this three-pointed star like a banner atop a mast. The S-Class arrives in the first half of next year. Thanks for watching.